Now imagine that 1,600 times. Hello everyone, this is Fawn and welcome to something new. In the beginning of July, the idea of one of those big pictures made out of a lot of smaller pictures came into my head. And while thinking about it, I thought what if I do this with pictures taken on a Game Boy camera and printed on a Game Boy printer. Now this was just a small idea that seemed fun to do, so I decided to do it. First things first, getting everything I need. Starting with my Game Boy printer. I bought this one a few years ago in a retro gaming shop. And then of course, my Game Boy Color for my first retro modding video, and my Game Boy Camera, which I got the same day as a printer. When I bought these two, the sticker mentioned that the printed pictures didn't look that good. But I quickly found out that it was just the old thermal paper that needed replacing. While testing the printer, I started thinking about how much pictures I need to make a poster that's at least one meter high. After some calculating, I found out that I need 1,600 pictures to make this happen. Now, I would have to be a crazy person to use my Game Boy camera to take 1,600 pictures, because I can't just put them on the cartridge. Print them! cut them and tape them together, no sane person would ever- Yeah, you've seen the title of the video, you know where this is going. Taking my mind off of what I'm about to put myself through, I wanted to clean the camera. This hasn't been cleaned since I got it, so it probably never has. So I started by doing that. Since we're already focused on the camera, I'll show you another piece that's very important to this project. The Ben Van Joey Jr. This will allow me to dump all the pictures I take on my computer. Now I'm not gonna jump into a project this big without doing some smaller tests first. This will allow me to test all the steps. Like taking the pictures, dumping them, printing them, Cutting them, taping them, and seeing if the printed collage looks as good as a digital one. Yeah, I just took a screenshot from a video for that one. So let's do a smaller test with a new picture. Take the picture, cut it in pieces, use my Game Boy camera, and put the pieces back together. Alright, looks like I'm ready to start with the real thing. Let's take a new picture and cut it in 1,600 pieces. You're gonna hear me say 1,600 a lot this video. With that done, we're almost ready to start taking pics. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of batteries for this. You're welcome, Bezos. We're finally ready for the pictures, dumping, and printing. For the background, I used one picture that I kept on my camera and reprinted that one for all the background only pieces. This allows me to take 520 less pictures. Still have to print them all though. Hello. It's me. It's 2.40 a.m. And I'm tired because for the last two and a half hours I've been printing little Game Boy pictures. I started just around midnight and today's my birthday. 
So first thing I did on my birthday is print the first 180 pictures. If everything goes as planned, this should take about max two weeks, I think. I hope I was talking about the printing process there, because only two weeks for this entire project seems a bit... No. It's not enough time. While printing, I ran out of paper. I had a rather big box of rolls for the printer, but I couldn't find it, so... You're welcome again, Bezos. I noticed that the prints on the new paper looked a lot better. Oh well, I'm not starting over. About halfway there, I noticed that my drive was falling up quick. Oops. Have you ever had a random idea that you just can't get out of your head until you do something with it? For the last week, I've been using this Game Boy with this Game Boy camera and this Game Boy printer to print out 800 individual pictures. Now with these 800 pictures, I'm actually only halfway through printing everything I need. And then I got a lot of extra stuff to do to actually finish this stupid idea I've had in my head. So if you ever have a random idea and you're not sure if you should do it or not, don't be like me and underestimate how much work it's gonna be. After a long and tedious process, all 1,600 pictures have finally been printed. Ah, oh, look how glad I was to have finally finished printing, not knowing what was about to come. Like the digital collage. First, I needed to convert all the dumped files to a more easy to use format then throw them all into Photoshop and place them all together. Hi, in between the project fun here. About three days ago, I finished printing everything. So now I have 1,600 little Game Boy camera pictures. While working on this, I started to realize some things. The first thing being that things printed on thermal paper fade. So I just spent two weeks printing 1,600 pictures on paper that will fade in a while. But that's why I'm glad I also decided to dump all the pictures, because that way I also have a digital version of this project. And I must say that the digital version is actually it's quite nice. I'm quite happy with it. The background looks kind of weird, but that's because I used the same picture over and over again. But yeah, so I printed the last picture three days ago. I took a little bit of a break, because you kind of need that when you take 29 pictures at a time, and then dumping them, and then printing them and then deleting them over and over and over again. But yeah, seeing the digital version, I think it will be worth it. But if everything goes as planned, the final picture should look something like this. I really hope it does, because I'm quite happy with this. And if it doesn't work out, at least I have a digital version. <laughs> So now that I've done my little break, I'm going to work on cutting it out and pasting everything together. Hopefully I don't mess up cutting some pictures out and having to reprint them. Oh, I hadn't considered that yet. Why am I doing this again? 
First things first, I decided I wanted to have pieces of the original print border to have as a border on the whole thing. So I marked down where I needed to leave a piece of the border on. And then I started to cut. So after a few days of working every now and then and taking breaks in between, I'm halfway through cutting out all the pictures. This is 800 little pieces of thermal paper. 800 more to go. In the beginning I kind of disappointed myself with how slow I was going. I don't have a deadline for this so I should take my time. Because I can definitely tell you taking a bit over a thousand pictures, dumping over a thousand pictures, putting them together digitally one by one, printing out 1600 pictures, cutting out 1600 pictures, and then eventually taping them together isn't really the sanest thing to do. But hey, I'm already this far. That's it for this little in-between moment. I'm gonna continue cutting the pieces and I'll probably cut to myself from the future having finished cutting out all these little pieces right now. I forgot to record this part. Don't I look like an idiot? Yes, at the point of recording this part, I'm actually way further along in the project, but I realized I was gonna make a cut joke and I never recorded the second part. So here I am. So as I've mentioned, I'm further along in the project, which means that I've actually cut out the 1600 little pictures. Now, as you can imagine, this leaves a lot of residue. Really a lot of residue. Don't worry, I'm gonna recycle this, but with cutting out all the pictures out of the way, it's time to tape them all together. I thought this would be the easy part, but the pictures didn't always line up right. I had to do some corrections here and there, and I accidentally skipped a row twice. But compared to the rest, this was quite a nice change of pace. not going to work. I've been planning to film this outside for weeks and now that it's finally good weather and there's not much noise outside, my neighbor's looking outside his window at me. I hope my cable's long enough. Why, yes, I am in a force because I didn't want my neighbors to look at me while filming. Thanks for asking. Hoping no strangers will pass by. There's someone screaming in the background. Should I be concerned? So here I have the final result hanging up. Here we go. I didn't think this through. Damn it. Attempt number I stopped counting. Inside edition. So as you just saw in my desperate attempt to record this outside, I went to a forest. I found a nice little place, I set everything up, I started recording, and then somebody decided to start biking by, going back and forward, looking at me. At one point he just stood still, sitting on his bike, and his phone was kind of pointing towards me, so I thought, oh no, he's filming me, filming myself. So I decided I'm just gonna pack everything up, I'm gonna find a more secluded place in the forest, and he started following me. Now at one point he called me and started asking me questions and I kind of snapped and reacted in a bit of a mean way, but I was very scared. Turns out somebody stole his backpack and I was the suspicious guy in the forest filming myself and stuffing all my equipment in my pocket. So to that person, if you're watching, I hope you found your backpack and I'm sorry for snapping at you. Now that with a bunch of other things that were happening at that time made me just be like, I'm just gonna record this inside. So without any further ado, here it is. Me. Yes, this is the finished product. 1,600 little pieces of paper printed out, cut out, and pasted together to make 
this. And guess what? I actually like the result. This for me was a difficult project. I started working on it at a point where I just didn't have the motivation to work on anything. But just one random idea kind of spiraled into this and I didn't give up on this and I'm glad I didn't. Because through this process, there were many points where I was like, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna look good at all. This isn't gonna look anything like the digital version. This is just not going to work. But in the end, here I am, not in my garden, not in a forest, in my living room with a big poster of myself that is probably gonna fade in like a month or two. I actually do think that with me trying to film this over and over again, it already faded a bit. Luckily, I took a picture on the day that I finished working on this, so I at least have that. Anyway, I started working on this somewhere in the beginning of July, finished it somewhere two thirds through August, and I'm finally filming this the beginning of September. And if you're seeing this, I wanna thank you for making it all the way through the video to this point, except if you skip to the end. This was a very big project for me, not only because I took 1080 individual pictures, printed out 1600 of them, cut them out, put them together in a big poster, and that's kind of a lot of work, but also because it was kind of in a bad place creatively and I just needed one big project to get me going again. Now I know that doesn't answer all the questions, like why didn't I make it smaller? Why didn't I use a different medium that prints pictures on paper that doesn't fade over time? What am I gonna do with this massive poster of myself? Was going through a lot of mental questioning, doing little tedious tasks over and over again to end up with a big poster of myself that I don't know what to do with, really worth it just to make a video out of it. I don't know, but thanks for watching, bye. I wanted to try different angles and record this standing up. I broke my foot! Ooh.